Well, developing tonight, Metro Atlanta school districts announcing their plans for what classes will look like this fall. Thanks for joining us now at 9. I'm Tracy Hutchins. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. And for many parents, Tracy, they will get the option of virtual or face-to-face -face learning. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy has been speaking with parents and officials. The wait is over for a number of parents in the metro area as Cobb, Gwinnett and Marietta release their plans for the new school year. Parents in Cobb, Gwinnett and Marietta will be given the option of enrolling their children in either virtual or face-to-face -face learning. So I would prefer face-to-face. -face. Others feeling it should be more of a wait and see. I probably would be in favour of like starting virtual with the hopes to at some point be in person. The Georgia Teachers Federation saying teachers are also split. There, there's no one answer with them. Some can't wait to get back to school. I think they're going stir crazy. Uh, but we do have teachers who are really, really concerned and have their own health problems. Cobb, Gwinnett and Marietta say they prefer that students wear masks but are not making them mandatory. Atlanta Public Schools have gone the opposite direction. Will Atlanta Public Schools require masks? The answer to that at this time is yes. Both parents and the teachers union highlighting the challenges parents with special needs children will face. Because I have a child with a disability, so it's a lot of paperwork. Um, they did send him home an iPhone tablet, but it's not going well. His attention span is really low. Fulton County School Superintendent Dr. Lumi tweeted that in the current pandemic climate, face-to-face -face learning for them would not be an option. Now, both Fulton County Schools, Atlanta Public Schools and DeKalb County are yet to finalise their plans for the new school year. In Atlanta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.